Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is yet another Thursday evening, evening approaching the midnight hour, and I'm so grateful that I am able to come and share a prayer and testimony. And I will start with scripture. Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. He who began a good work and you will carry it on to completion until the day Christ Jesus Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your grace, your mercy, your favor, your love, everything that you poured into this day measured for us, Father God. May we serve you in a way that please you, that glorify you, and we ask that you pardon us in our sins, the things we've said or done or thought in deed or in action that offend thee, Father God. And we ask for the Holy Spirit, invite the Holy Spirit in this prayer right now, Father God. Your words said when two or more are gathered in your name that you'll be in the midst. So I thank you for my prayer partners who stand and agree and touch and agree with me. And that is Kadish Baptist Church, my home church in Detroit, their 6 p.m. daily prayer call. I thank you for the Second Baptist Church of Ann Arbor, their Wednesday morning 7 a.m. prayer call um, with the prayer warriors, as well as Deacon Allen, our 6 a.m. Was 6 30 to 7 o'clock in the morning daily prayer call and shape group in the morning glory group and the rest of my family and friends the allen group who all share prayer and we lift you up father god we lift up your name we bless your holy name father god we know that we need you we know that we can't do anything without you we know that prayer can change things in the midnight hour your word says to pray without ceasing father god so we know that we need you and we send these prayers up father god we pray that we don't squander our opportunity to share your word and to encourage someone father god to turn away from their sins may we all turn away from our sins that we commit and I pray for all those who are brokenhearted, bereaved right now, who need a healing touch mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually. We know the economy is doing all types of things, but we know that you are our provider, that you will sustain us, that we can just hold on to you and trust in you, Father God. We know you to be a comfort. A comforter we know you to be a problem solver we know that you can do anything but fail so father God we put our hands off of things and leave it at your feet father God leave it at the altar um, having faith that whatever we stand in need of that you will supply it and father God you've been so gracious that you've even supplied us with many of our wants abundantly above all that we can ask for father God and a prayer focus on this week. Um, I, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you, and bless your holy name for the opportunities that I have had to fellowship with family in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, my good girlfriends here, we've been looking out for each other and being able to fellowship together. And on today, earlier today, I was blessed to be able to spend an afternoon watching my first cousin play tennis and he blessed me with this t-shirt and after the tennis match we broke bread together father god and i do not take it for granted i thank you for the time that the moments that you allow me to share with my family i know that they are precious moments and one day will be precious memories father god i just thank you for it and i do not want to squander these opportunities i know it's a blessing i pray for um last week a tuskegee airman who was a pow was laid to rest and just on yesterday another tuskegee airman who was a prisoner of war um passed away so i pray for their families as well as for every family that's bereaved. I know COVID is still lurking and I'm praying for people who are affected by it. I'm praying for our youth, for you to can continue to cover them, Father God, as many are graduating and, and going into summer school, that you keep them covered as well as um, all of the teachers and 
and support staff, Father God. I pray for our law enforcement who's up working, especially in the midnight hours, people in the travel industry, first responders, our medical personnel, Father God, we all need you. And you've shown us time and time again that we need each other. So I pray that we can be kind to each other in that. And also, um, during my travels, it was a young man at the airport and he was so upset and he had a baseball bat and apparently TSA said he could not um, travel with the bat and it was a gift that was from his grandfather who had passed and I am I was so touched by his care and his memories of his grandfather and, and knowing that that was something special and, and I just Pray for that family as well as so many of the other families who are still bereaved, but that we can make time and take time to share with each other, to have precious and fond memories. I will say that again and again, because later it's not, we don't own later. And I thank you 28 years ago, or was it 27 years ago, I joined the police department in class 94 G and H. I, I thank you for um, allowing me to serve with such a great group of people and all of the fine men and women of Detroit's finest who still continue to serve in law, in all law enforcement. And people don't realize a lot of the things that law enforcement have to contend with, but I thank God for the people who I served with all of the good officers and we need to continue to keep them lifted in prayer. And it was an absolute honor and blessing serving the city of Detroit as well as the residents, constituents, and I'm so grateful for that. And I'm grateful for the job that I have now that allow me to travel to meet amazing people all over the world and to continue in a field of service. So in closing, I just want to bless the name of Jesus and say to someone, if you don't know Christ as your personal Savior, you can invite him into your heart, ask him to change your life, get connected with him, I pray a covering over my senior pastor, Greg Foster at Cater's Baptist Church and Dr. Stephen Daniels of Second Baptist. Wherever you are, get connected to a local church. We all need to be covered. More importantly, you need a personal relationship with God. So he left us in peace. So I would say peace in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen.